Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Battletech, the campaign. I'm your host, Cause Fate. It's episode 29. We're in Wythe's glory, but there's no good contracts left here. I'll show you what there is. There's a supply lines quest, which is a battle, but unfortunately it's against the Capellan Confederation, which I'm trying to raise faction with. There's a lost supplies ambush a convoy against the pirates, and I hate <coughs> ambushing against the convoy. There's a really interesting training day mission for the local government in another system, which would be great. I'd like to take my new Banshee in there um, and try that, but unfortunately it's against the Capellan Confederation. So I'm trying to find missions for the Capellans and that won't hurt my pirate faction too much. So we're going to go look. We're just going to go find a different star system. It's 16 days for our Banshee to get put together. So anywhere that we want to travel that we haven't been to that might take 16 days. This is 19 days to Paia, which has all four of these factions here, which would probably be good. And there's a uh, same amount of days to here. System owner, this is abandoned. It doesn't have any anything for us. So if we're going to go to one of these two systems, I'd rather go to one that's at least has a small population and a planetary government because we can do missions against them. We don't care about planetary government faction. So let's go to Paia. And we'll see how this works out and see what happens while we're traveling our pilot our pirate faction is still really high that work order is complete, boss. so we're always work, we're always hoping that while we're in transit we'll get the pirate black market invitation let's take a look at what she's doing with our Argo um, drive system I think what does this do does this help? Travel time to and from jump points reduced by 20%. So you can do that. Power system uh, helps you just be able to run everything else in here. Repair and refit. What's the next repair and refit? It's 130,000 for plus three tech points. I like that. Let's do that. That's cheap. It's cheap, but we can get that done. Keep upgrading. Leaving Wyeth's glory. Be on our way. To a system that has a skull rating of two and a half, which will be, I think, the highest we've been to yet. But now that we have two Banshees, and one of them actually has a bunch of weapons, we should be able to start doing some of these missions. And here in the next few episodes, we'll be able to advance the story a little bit if we want to. I'm not so concerned about advancing the campaign as I am done, getting to the point where we can do flashpoint stuff. Because the flashpoint missions are fun. So the Banshee's ready to go and we'll be at Paia. Paia. Black Market Invitation. There it is. How perfect. In the morning, Darius is unusually excited. Commander, our pirate friends have vouched for us with the cabal that controls access to the black markets in the periphery. They'll even waive the usual membership fee. Oh, that's how good our our reputation is so good they've waived the membership membership fee altogether. Sumire chuckles darkly. He keeps such sterling company. Considering our reputation with the great houses, though, it's hard to find welcoming ports these days. Dr. Murad reluctantly agrees. Black markets are always our only option for new supplies. Got to be worth the extra scrutiny we'll receive from the system authorities. Yes, we'll accept the invitation. With a wave of your hand, you quiet the room. Let's grab this with both hands. You might not always be on good terms with the pirates. Ing strokes his chin in contemplation. I need a cool pirate name now. Maybe Angry Yang or Ironbeard. What you think? Yes, Angry Yang. You can steal Angry Joe's name. Awesome. So we got the black market. Unfortunately, there's no black market in Paya, but there will be at our next port of call because we're going to go to a black market next after we after we uh, work the contracts in the system. We'll visit this store just to see what they have. They probably don't have much. Certainly no interesting mechs. Have an Orion, but oh, there's a rifleman. And uh, let's see as far as Interesting, they got an SRM 4 Plus. We'll grab that. Anytime there's short range missiles, 
that are unique. We'll grab those. No good weapons or anything. And in fact, uh, let's check out our mech bay real quick. So what what is missing on this? It says refit is... What does it say? Hover over. The mech is carrying ammo that it cannot use. Oh, AC-10 ammo. Boo. Oh, well, and we don't have any more AC-20 ammo. Well, we will in a minute. We're going to go to the store and we're going to buy some. Oh, there it is. Buy. I'm going to buy extra just in case because down the road we have two pieces of crab. We're going we're gonna to want that. So let's put you know, ammo. AC-20 ammo. Put that back in there. All right, so that'll take a day to fix. That's fine. And then I'm going to give it a little different name. Um, <laughs> Banshee Weapons. Because <laughs> it's the one that has all the weapons on it. Okay, he'll fix that for us. Um, where's our... Our Centurion has a bunch of SRMs. It's got an SRM4 plus on it. Our Kintaro... We're gonna, we don't use it very often, but we're going to put the SRM4 Plus on it. So let's put it right there. So that one. We'll only have to wait a day because we're only going to wait for the Banshee. All right, let's, let's look at contracts. In the Comstar Merknet. Darius, find us something good. Okay, there's a breakout. Attack and defend. Oh, yeah, you gotta split up to do that. And then what is this? There's ones for the government. There's a battle. Stubborn surrender. There's a battle. Settling the grudge. There's a battle. Who are these against? The Magistry of Canopus, the local pirate organization, and forward observers against the Magistry of Canopus. So we're restricted. We can't do that mission right there. Darn. It's two skulls and we can't do it. So we have to go to a system that has even fewer skulls. So we have a chance of getting missions from them. In the meanwhile, in the meantime, we have a, a pirate organization against the planetary government. I'm okay with that. We'll do that one mission and then we'll move to another system where we have a chance. Get our that battle tech ready to go though. That McWar. Attack and defend. I'm not fond of these. Let's see what it says. Some of our people are currently being held in a local government prison facility. We'd like to break them out and evacuate them, but the prison's protection by a nearby military base. Well the prison's protected. We're very competent at prison breaks, but less experienced at defending bases from lances of military mix. That's where you come in. We'll seize control of the prison, and then you land and shoot anyone who tries to keep us from evacuating our dear friends. In fact, it would probably be best if you simply destroyed the base entirely. Wouldn't do that to have them tracking us. Okay, so this, there's going to be, it's two skulls. There's going to be enough mechs coming at us. I like this. 529, 749 for two. We're probably not going to drop a whole mech that's worth keeping. You know, you've watched the episodes long enough. Our chances of dropping three pieces of the same mech and putting a brand new heavier assault together are probably slim. I'd rather have some of this money. So we're going to go with that. And and now we have this second awesome Banshee. Banshee weapons. Um, we'll bring the Grasshopper back. Let's see. He's got the Centurion, on, but we're going to bring this Grasshopper in. Banshee weapon, so Behemoth's going to run it because I don't know how hot it's going to be. It's heat efficiency says it's pretty good. It's about the same as the Grasshopper. It's got a lot of firepower. And we're going to keep her because she's still our only long-range trebuchet kind of um, mech. She's got the two LRM-15s, so we still haven't been able to put together a catapult or anything like that. Uh, I'm going to go with these mech warriors except for, yeah, this looks good actually. Let's roll with these people. 600. Our tonnage is really good. And uh, he doesn't have as much armor. The weapons one. He's got 1280. He's got a lot more firepower. He's got three really good weapons. That he can constantly... Oh, I should have... Well, she can split. That's the good thing. But she can't do breaching shot. 
I actually should have put um, my character on that one. And I should have just had Banshee sit on the sidelines. But my character with Breaching Shot, a character with Breaching Shot needs to be running the Banshee with the, all the weapons. But this will be cool. We've done this attack and, be, and defend style of mission before, and at, we were actually pretty successful with it. You do have to kind of split up your mech. I uh, you kind of have to send two in one direction and two in the other. And But for a $750,000 payday and a couple pieces of salvage, a couple guaranteed pieces, that's a pretty good mission for us. It's two skulls, but... And even though we're dropping four and a half skulls worth of tonnage, the thing is, this is not a good four and a half skulls. That's kind of where you have to know the game. What we really need is five mechs, like our Banshee with all the weapons on it. So, Right, we've taken control of the facility. Our evacuation dropships are ready to start the evacuation once you've destroyed that base. Acknowledged. Meyer, how much time have we got before the military base responds? None. They're already inbound and seem unhappy. Commander, they're going to keep sending mechs at us until they destroy that base. We'll need to get their attention or they'll bury the prisoners in rubble. Good news is that once you take out the military facility, they'll have no eyes on their LZ, so they'll have to stop landing more forces. You could also say the bad news is they'll keep landing reinforcements the whole time. Commander, I'll move in for pickup once you get that base flattened. Alright, so... Argo, our forces are ready to assist in defending the base. Acknowledge, Commander. They'll stay near the base and intercept any hostiles that make it past your lands. So they have some forces here. See, this is new. We've never experienced this. They have some defending forces to defend this base. So it says, destroy reinforcement waves. Destroy. Okay. Defend the pirate base. Five structures remaining. So we have to keep this up. We have to go over here and we have to destroy this base. So as soon as we can get this down, reinforcements will stop coming. Okay, cool. Okay. And they've got some defenders back here, which will be great. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get down on this road and move. Enemy contact. Of course. Expect nothing less. Grasshopper can move quickly. And the person we might leave back here to help a little bit is the trebuchet. Because she can shoot from long range, so... We'll see how long her long range can go. This enemy is a light mech coming from there. Our, we The previous time we did this mission, we didn't have defenders. So I would imagine as this mission skulls up, you get better defenders. Right now we just have a bunch of lights. But they're going to help, so that's going to be great. That should hopefully assist us. Be very nice if it did. And the heavier mechs are on their way. Most important thing is to destroy that base as soon as possible. We're going to reserve glitch. Good to go. Medusa in the grasshopper. I want him to jump over here because I want him to see what's over here. He can't jump that far. Can I get over there sprinting? No. Darn, I really wanted to see what this little mech was. Okay. I'm still going to sprint him and get a little better look at what's over this direction. It's a 65 ton mech. <clears throat> Glitch, we're going to reserve you. want to get a little better look at what's going on over here. Um, Blade Runner, you are running the AC-20, so let's wait on you. Glitch, order. so Glitch, all you can do is shoot at that guy. Hmm. Okay, you got nobody else you can shoot at. Alrighty then. What I'm going to do is have you shoot at this guy. 
<clears throat> but I don't want you to waste missiles on him. So. Take a little bit of evasion off of him. Blade Runner, you will go in this direction. You're basically, you have one AC-20 weapon. So you're just going to stay behind. I think he'll be the one that stays behind and the other two will be the ones that forge ahead and try to use their weapons to destroy that base. If he attacks this thing, it's less than 50% chance to hit. So fortunately, he's got 20 of those to shoot. That's not good. Behemoth, I'm going to want you to go up this direction. Get ready to shoot at that 65 ton mech. The pirate says, I will come up here and help shoot. Good, that's what I want you guys to do. Oh, look at him. Blowing up those lights everywhere. A locust, we knew that was coming. Pirate Locust. It, if all they do is strip evasion off of incoming mechs, that would be fantastic. Oh, and he just zapped my defending Locust. Wow. Oh, and then he shot at my Grasshopper once. These guys are going to be good at doing that. It's a good job for them. Okay. Something over there has a PPC. It could be anything from a panther to something bigger. You did not shoot well, my friend. But at least it's minus evasion. Bigger mechs are on the way. Hey boss, I hate to bring bad news, but I got eyes on enemy units surrounding their base. Looks like you're going to have to shoot your way through. Well, we knew that. So. There's a lot of objectives here in this style of mission. What was that? 20 tons and 25 tons. Okay, reserve glitch. I'll wait here for now. Let's see what their medium mech is going to do. They have a 45 ton. It's probably... Okay. It's a Vindicator. I was going to say it's probably a Blackjack. Let's reserve and see what the heavy guy does. He's a 65 tonner. What is he? Grasshopper. Thunderbolt. Oh, very exciting. Very, very exciting. Me, Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Figaro. Magnifico. Alright. Get to the evasion. Stay behind your little pirate buddies. Um, these guys. What do we got? We need to take some off the Thunderbolts, but I really want to get something off of that Javelin. Hmm, I guess. One in the javelin, one in this thing. Alright. You get a headshot, and you get a headshot. Breaching shot ignores Godhead. Okay, Medusa. <clears throat> yep. You're in the grasshopper. So how do I want you? Where can you jump to? This gives you three evasion. Puts you really close to that locust. I don't really like that. I want you to have a chance to shoot that guy. I also want you to have a chance to shoot everybody else. What do we got? You got really good chance to hit with the PPC over there. You got a medium chance to hit that. You can take one evasion off of him. Okay. Roger. So multi-target. All the good stuff there. Take one off this and one off that. PPC, our best medium laser. Go B. And then C. Okay, do that. Engage multiple targets. I would like to have that Thunderbolt. Locust. 
Structure exposed. Behemoth. I want you to move up here, but not too far. You can't really get any evasion, can you? So, let's see what we can do here. What are you if you move there? You got 75% chance to hit him with the PPC. You got a 75% chance to hit him with the AC-20 and the LRMs. So, we could do this. What happens if you move here? You can't see him, can you? move there 75% chance oh you can get small lasers on him if we can get everybody in view I copy. in our firing arc okay two targets I want uh, kind of want to just shoot everything at this guy all my big weapons the PPC is 95% chance to hit um, Let's do that. Multiple targets confirmed. That's what we need. <laughs> Those three weapons on that guy. Heat sink destroyed. Scored a critical hit. Blade Runner, if I move you up to here, what can you do? You can shoot him for a seventy five percent chance to end him. I can make this a much higher precision chance here. 95% chance. Kill him. Oh, it didn't do it. Thought it might. It's AC 20 on that little guy. Okay. Well, there's one more round out of the way. Piece is falling off. I think the way to do this mission might be to have one really fast mech that can get down there and target that base and blow it up and it can move around with a bunch of evasion. So probably our Phoenix would be a good choice. Finally that guy's down. Good. Good job dudes. Because you need somebody basically to race at past all this. That's got to be a... a not a griffin, but the smaller model of that. The panther. Javelins, get up here and strip evasion. Oh yeah, I like that. That works. He's going to get a chance to move them. And return his evasion. Uh-oh. Somebody sensor locking my little dudes. Locust. Don't get too out, far out in front there, guys. Oh, but if you're going to strip off the Vindicator, that's fine. And it's a commando. Oh, you're hurting my Locust. I never can hurt those Locusts with that much evasion like that. I just flat out miss them. Here comes their locust. This is really neat. Can you imagine seeing these on the on the road like that? You'd be like, what the glitch? You've got a chance to shoot. And and putting some into the thunderbolt would be really good. I also want to see if I can get you close you enough you? to shoot at. Can I get you close enough to put some lasers on this locust here? Yes, I can. Okay, this is always dangerous for you, getting you too close, but... You got lasers on that guy, which would be great. You could put LRMs on that dude, which would be great. Um, let's just split you between these two targets. Him and him. You're gonna get a little bit of heat generated, but... Uh -huh. I should have split that even further. I should have used breaching shot. He's got bulwark up but he's now one step closer to being pushed over that's what you got eh Medusa I know now it gets really hot for you 
because if I move you one more time, you're going to get really, really warm. Um, and I don't have anywhere to move you to because you jumped up there. So the, the thing to do would be to move you here. You can get four evasion there. And then you're going to have to run around. But you're going to be our guy who's going to run and get eyes on the base, basically. You got really good shots on him. And then there's a PPC on the Vindicator. I'd rather you take this thing down. And there, there it is. So you're going to be running next turn. After you use this coolant vent, run to the base. Run as fast as you can. The rest of us will take care of this. Hit him hard. Good job. You so rarely do that. And that thunderbolt's like, I got all the weapons, so I'm shooting you. That's fine. My big banshee. Behemoth is in it. Okay, so if she comes up here, she can get no one evasion. One evasion, and she can turn this way. And she'll be some good weapons on there, and she can put the LRM-20s on that guy. Well, that works. I, I don't mind splitting in that direction at all. So, her heat management is decent. Okay. Affirmative. All right, everyone. He's close enough to do the melee attack <clears throat> at 85%. Everybody get your bets ready. Money going down now. Engaging physical hey, he actually hit him and he hit a right leg. Nice. Oh my gosh, I would not have bet on that result. Not the way things have gone for us. Okay. Maybe the little fleas around us can finish him off then. I call them fleas. They're not actually fleas. I just think about them like that. That's good. Yeah, keep poking at him. Little dudes. There's a 35 10 mech coming in, and it is just as we suspected a panther. He's going to hurt our little locust. Reinforcement wave one arrives in five rounds. We have five rounds to get rid of that base. We've got to get our man over there. We're probably going to get a second. We're going to at least get that first reinforcement wave. Oh, something over there has a pretty big poker. What is that mech? Yes, kill it. Oh, well, do that then. Yeah, if our... If we would have got more than locusts and javelins to help us against this, I'd feel a little bit better about this, but yeah, we don't really have that, do we? Go there, javelin. He's moonwalking on, on the air there. Oh yeah, take that commando out. I thought that'd be great. Local government forces. This is going to be a long mission, isn't it? Oh, ho, ho, there goes one of our allies. Toast. Waiting on you, Commander. Glitch, I would like you to continue to take shots at this guy. Um, if I put you up there, can you hit him down there? Yes, you can with the lasers. Okay. Don't need to tell me twice. <sighs> Poke this guy over here. Is he? He's not guarded now, is he? Nope. So you get a chance to kill this one on the ground. I know it's generating heat for you, Got but... That's a good one, and he's knocked down, which is fantastic. Did you kill that one on the ground? No. Darn it. And he's going to get right back up. All that work to try and kill him, and he got right back up. You know, that's how easily they killed my locust. But hopefully they'll just kill him next turn. So I can spend my weapon, my AC-20, on something that is a little more deserving. Medusa, do you see this facility? 
That is where you're going. Get ready to sprint, buddy. No shooting, just running. Yeah, because you got a heat problem. Thunderbolt says I'm gonna get back up. You can knock me down, but I will get back up. I will shoot all my lasers and all my weapons at this guy because I just got up and I don't have a heat problem. Okay, behemoth then. Um, I want you to keep moving forward, but it's a little bit of it's a little bit of an ask here. Yeah, that seems like a waste to spend on him. You can if you move there, you got all the chances in the world to just keep punching this guy. What happens if you move really close? Oh my gosh, you can really. <laughs> Let's move really close because if we get into punching matches, this guy will win. Um, move order received. He's like, man, he's really close. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> What happens if we multi-target you and you and it's really hot, isn't it? Okay. Fire off your coolant vents then. So it was probably a good idea to put you in this chair. There we go. Fire everything. I copy. <clears throat> that was effective. Gotta feel good about that. Blade Runner. Okay. You can make a second melee attack on this guy. And try to finish him off. Or you can shoot your weapon. What are your two hits over there? They're not great. The melee is actually better. Then they then our little guys aren't shooting at him. So why don't you do that? It's 85% chance. Once again. I can't see because of the brush. But at least he's dead. Zap 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 zap. <laughs> Titan from Mega Mine. Zap zap. <laughs> hey, we're inspired. All right. Okay. Oh, you guys are getting smart. Come after the Thunderbolt. Thank you. That'd be brilliant. I'd love that. Here comes their Panther. I will shoot at your little locust. Well, my little locust will shoot back. My wounded locust. Oh yeah, I keep shooting at the thunderbolt. That would be fantastic. What do we got over here? 30 ton mech with some kind of... Is that an urban mech? Oh, someone killed the urban mech. It's... Just someone go kill it. <laughs> Structure exposed. Commando. Oh, you think you're gonna split your fire, little commando? Well, look at you go. And you can't always see the pilots up here. What kind of pilots are running? But Max, um, you need to come back down around here and get maximum evasion. If you put more missiles into that guy, that would be good. Uh, let's see. Because killing the Thunderbolt is important, but you have a really good angle on this Panther. So I'm going to split fire and maybe hope that she can do some damage to that EPC of his. No Oh, and he's we're doing more damage to him. Very good. Take that arm off. Morning. Detecting mech warrior injuries. Well, as usual, my person is taking wounds, because that's what happens to him. You just need to sprint. How close are you to this facility? Not too close. You're making yourself vulnerable. But you got four evasion. 
Oh, you're gonna you're gonna get you're gonna go closer. You know what? That's probably not a good look for you because now I can move around behind. Affirmative. Might not get a chance to shoot my PPC this time, but my AC twenty has ninety percent chance to hit, and it's my LRM still have a really good chance to hit this. So we're gonna hit plug you. You. That's a full load. I'm gonna take this off for heat reasons. Fire. Oh yeah, she hit him from behind. Central torso destroyed. Vindicator now taking some heat. This guy's kind of going to stay here and defend. So what has he got? 75% chance to hit that one. 80% chance to hit that little locust. I'm not too worried about that little locust, but it would be nice to get it out of the way. Um... It would be really nice. I can ensure that with a precise strike, 95%. Just kill it. Because taking a mech down off of the field and not letting it shoot at anything and remove somebody's evasion is kind of paramount. Every every turn you can take a mech off the field is, is good. So. And just because the f simple fact that that little mech can strip evasion. And then see, that guy shot and took one of mine down. So we got to take his arm off. But fortunately, look, he's got his right arm with the PPC facing our people. We got a really good chance this turn to strip him of his best weapon. So, And that was, it's an urban mech, just as we thought. Well, he's going to shoot me. I have an auto cannon for you. Buddy. Reinforcements are coming in three rounds. Warning. Detecting mech warrior injury. My my mech warrior is taking it in the head. Good to go. Okay. Want you to move over here, glitch. Actually, let's see. If I move you here, you got a chance to shoot their commando. So let's do this and then we'll move you. Actually, you've got the laser problem though with the heat though, don't you? Let's not worry about that. Let's do this. Hit their, well, their urban mech would be great, but hit their panther. He has no defense. He's got one evasion. He's not guarded. He's not entrenched. He has no bulwark. Take that arm off. Or come close to it. Because then if you get his arm off, He's gonna keep these guys are gonna keep using their PPCs on me, and that's gonna continue to hurt. Medusa, how soon before you can get over there, buddy? Acknowledge. Close, no banana. Lots of turns of just trying to do the right thing here. Okay, so you can get in kind of behind these guys. Yeah. Okay, what kind of moves like Jagger do you have? You got some really good shots against him. Get some really good shots against him. And there's the urban mech. Okay, split it like this. Um, yes, yeah, shoot A and A at him. Shoot B at him. This will work. Copy that. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Connection on that one. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Can you get up there and punch that thing? You can. Oh, well, I think a punching's in order, don't you? It's 85%, people. We've already punched twice and hit. It's kind of been amazing. And he destroys him. Not displeased with that. That works. If I had to do this mission again, though, I would definitely take a Phoenix with me because they can move so far so fast. 
and he can get over there with like four lasers and a PPC or four lasers and a, what does he got? Four lasers and a large laser? One of them just has four lasers, I think. But he can get over there and start doing damage to the building. I would do that. And if I had a catapult, that'd be great. I like it. You took the panther out. Good job, boys. Good job, little javelins. I wish I had four of those javelins. Oh, you think you're going to shoot me with your PPC, really? Glitch. You can put some on this guy and probably put some on the urban mech. So, do this. Urban mech? Oh, you can even get lasers on him, but they're going to be too hot for that. It's going to be really hot. Um, kind of like that, though. See if you can hurt him. Urban Mix got that one weapon on that side, so if you can take it out, then... Orders. Get over there. Sprint. You're almost there. Affirmative. Because the reinforcements are coming in two rounds. we got this round and the next round. Urban Mix. You've got one weapon. I think I want you to shoot it at the Urban Mix. <coughs> but if I go right there... It's an 80% chance to hit him, and it's a 90% chance to hit him. Let's down the Vindicator. You could split. Let's do this. Because you're not generating that much heat. So let's do that. Oh, there goes his right arm. Now our guys can help out with that urban net. And you... Okay, so you gotta kinda do this. Got really good shots though. Aye, aye. You're hot. So let's figure out what we can do. The PPC could hit him or the LRMs. And you got a really good shot with that, so. Got lots of heat. Let's take the small lasers off. Let's take the PPC off. So if we do A to hit the urban mech, no, we wanna hit B with the high one. Switch him. Actually, just shoot everything at this guy. Forget about the urban mech. Yeah. What do I get with the small lasers? Too much. It's not worth it. Let's do this. Acknowledge. Oh, now you're on the ground. I think I hit something good. Mm -hmm, you did. Attack and defend mission. Wow, this is this is a long mission. Oh no. They're gonna appear right there. I gotta move. Hostile drop zone. Let's get out of the way. Oh thank goodness he missed. Okay, we gotta destroy this thing before the hostile drop zone. Before the next one, I want to. I don't want to see reinforcement wave two. Reinforcement wave one, we can live with. Reinforcement wave two, no. So she's going to continue to move this way and get closer to that base to shoot things down. Um, Urban Mech, you got really good shots in the back. He's down on the ground. I have no doubt that somebody will kill him. So you do this. I will get back up. Tis only a flesh wound. Damage minimal. Medusa, how close are you now? You're close. You're close enough to start shooting, buddy. On my way. <laughs> start taking this thing down. You've had all this time to run. Medium military complex. Medium military building. Just shoot that thing. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Can you shoot that with everything? You can. So here's what we're gonna do. Let's split this. Yeah. So these are the A's, this is B, let's do that. Splitting fire. 
Yeah, baby. Okay, so we could have shot everything at it and brought the building down. That's alright. Blade Runner. You Blade Runner. Oh yeah, you can plow that guy, can't you? And the Vindicator, either one. But he's going to get out of the way to shoot him, so. Uh, too hot with all these lasers. I think this one thing's going to kill it. Wow, it didn't finish him off. That's amazing. It's knocked down. Is he out? Yeah, he is. Oh, look at us. We're almost in position to... Uh, Location shoot the building. Oh, look at you. Okay. Don't shoot the PPC. Don't shoot the LRMs. Just go for this. Firing on wow, how did that not kill him? It's amazing. Critical hit, Commander. Yeah, well. Local government forces dropping another lance. They'll keep landing more units to take out that base. What do we have? What does this look like? We're going to find out soon enough. There's some big stuff in there. Is that a... Did I see a Black Knight? What do they have? Good job. Tactician. My guys are like, hey. Trebuchet? They got a trebuchet. What else do they have? They have an archer. Oh, I would like that mech. That would be very nice. Glitch. What can I do for you? Can you yeah, you can get over here and start shooting buildings, can't you? Super. So here's what we're going to have you do. I'm going to have you start taking down pieces of buildings here. Launch them. You get a headshot and you get a headshot. Got four rounds to bring this thing down. Oh no, really? Are you really? Oh, son of a buck. Dang it. Medusa, it's gonna be on you, buddy. Son of a... Rats. Okay, you can probably take out that with some medium lasers. Let's do this. That and this. Let's put... Locked on. It's the first of the structures down. Gotta destroy four of them. Okay. Darn. Commander. Okay, um, well, here's the thing. Oh, man. Um, if I point her in that direction. I risk getting my back shot. If I move like that, I can get my left Roger. arm shot. What can she hit from here? She's got the PPC and the LRMs. Okay. Well, let's do this. One, two, A, B. Roger that. This is the most important thing, is taking these buildings down. There goes two. Okay, Blade Runner. You, Blade Runner. Yes. We need to hit that archer. Trebuchet. We know they're kind of weaker. You get two evasions. And then we're going to spend some of this on Vigilance to give you some really good defense. And then we're going to hit this archer. Interface. 
<laughs> Try to hit him in the face. Mm. Are you all out of missiles, Javelin? Because that's probably not your best play. Their locust is coming back. Ooh. I don't have a lot of pirate allies anymore. Gotta make the most of them. Which means Glitch is gonna have to use her lasers now. Glitch, you're you're too far away from having an impact on that probably. So on my sorry way. that you're out of weapons. I wish I had a trebuchet. Can you shoot that thing? Yes. Can you precise strike it in the back? Eighty percent chance. How much armor does it have back there? Five and then thirty? Man, that's enough to kill it if you could hit it. A little bit of damage. Another hit like that and you're toast. Archer says I will come out and shoot you. Warning. Armor low. Yeah. Medusa, Ready for orders. you are my friend. Um, can you see both buildings there? Yep. Okay. You see both buildings from where you're at, can't you? Right there. Position confirmed. Do what you can to take this one down, because this other one our buddy can hit. Locked on. Yes. Blade Runner. You're there. The better angles you get. Yes, really good angle to hit him. Okay. Keep using vigilance while we have it. Oh, come on, don't tell me that didn't kill him. Headshot. Okay, Behemoth, this is on you. Acknowledged. You've got two buildings. Boink and boink. A and B. Do it. Engaging multiple targets. We can end that before the second wave of reinforcements come. Done our job well. That should slow down the attackers. Maya, are you ready for pickup? Affirmative XO, let's get out of here, boss. Commander, we completed the primary objectives and you're clear to extract. Alright, so all we have to do is get out of here. Great. Okay. Long mission. Jesus is going to consume the whole episode, isn't it? Well, it would be nice to get that archer before we get out of here. But we will do so by... Well, that'd probably be the easiest thing. For the salvage reasons, let's just try and kill everything. 40% damage reduction, but our Banshee's getting hurt. Warning. Armor breached. Yeah, I know. Internal damage. Um, glitch. What can I do for you? I read you, Commander. This thing. Okay, you're just gonna have to shoot it. That archer is a little wobbly. And he's got no evasion, so you'd better just shoot him. Uh -huh. Not that that did any good. But while we have a couple of pirate javelins helping us, we should probably make use of them. Medusa, what can you do? Can you get back here pretty pretty quick? Got a PPC. You know what? You're just going to sprint this turn and take down your heat. Then you can be of more use to us the next turn. Archer says, man, I gotta get some stability back. I'm wobbly. Uh, 
My banshee getting hurt. Armor breached. Internal damage. I know. I know. And head wounds. Yep. Oh, he's hot now though. Look. Oh man. Let's try to finish him. Keep going with the damage reduction. One more good shot. Can we do it? Will it hurt him enough to kill him? No, it won't kill him, but get lucky with a headshot. And you missed him. At 80% you missed him. At 80% you missed him. Ready for orders. Moving to position. Alright. Well, Behemoth, what do you got? You got a bunch of really good shots on this guy. It's going to make you super hot, but let's do it. Yeah, and he's out of the he's gonna be out of the picture next turn. So <coughs> Javelin, you don't have any heat problems. I'd prefer if you just shoot this guy. Knocking him down is good though. But now he's gonna get up and he's not gonna be hot. Gotta get rid of that. Gotta get rid of this guy up here. At least we got two javelins still playing. Oh, you're just gonna stomp on him? Come on, shoot! Turkeys? It's like, I will shoot the behemoth. Oh, yeah. Three lasers. Mm hmm. Warning. Armor breached. Heat critical. Damage. Structural damage. Well, now you're. Waiting on now you're you. hurt, aren't you? Now you're hurt. You both got hot. You both decided to risk it all. Okay. Eat him up. Here we go. You missed him? One of those missed him? What are you doing? Medusa. Coordinates received. Shoot this guy. Let's see what are your lasers can do with the guy on the ground. You can they get a really good PPC shot with the guy on the ground right there. Um Let's do that, and then this. It's gonna make you a little warm. Taking the shot. Oh, I thought that might do it because that's his exposed side. All right, Blade Runner. You can kill that guy on the ground, which would be a really good idea. Just core him out. There we go. Good job. He's not going to get back up. And that means Behemoth can do something like this. Got really good shots on that. It's probably too hot. We could use your coolant vent again. And then see about. Let's do this. Let's use Vigilance, because he's going to poke it. He's going to come punch you now. Firing on multiple you missed. You missed with your best weapon. Well, at least you got that guy. Target eliminated. You missed. Best weapon and you missed. These guys must be out of ammo, because now they're just going full melee. But I know they have lasers. They don't just have the LRMs. It's like, I will come up here to punch you. Oh no, I'm going to come over here to shoot you. Well. This should be last turn. Poke holes in him. Oh, there goes the left arm. Great. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. Receiving. Medusa, you can get in from behind here. Kind of, almost. Yep, blow the whole thing. Let her rip. <laughs> Let her rip. I will miss you with my PPC. Let her rip. 
Oh, Medusa. You never fail to disappoint, do you? Never fail to disappoint. Position confirmed. Banshee, what are the odds that you can access? It's 90% to hit him with the AC. You know what? I'm going to use Precise Strike and you're just going to put it right in the middle of his back. Take the LRMs off. Take the PPC off. Do this. Engaging Not All dead yet. All out of AC-20 ammo. Okay. Oh, Banshee. It would be great if he could hit this guy 65% chance. Not a good shot, though. Oh, he did it! He did it! Wow. Okay, well. Whew, that was long. <laughs> that was a long mission. That was an hour. Wow. Jeez. Look at that, though. A contract payment increased by 10% for all this stuff, and we took mostly money, so. That's nice. Of course, my pilot took two injuries. Let's see. So we get part of that archer. And then uh, I'm going to grab that one piece of that Thunderbolt. And let's see what else we get. Not much. Jeez. It's okay. I thought we might get something good, but still, that's, I'm happy with that mission, with the way that went. Wow. Kind of crazy. Jeez. Well, that was awesome. We come through and we get that payout. Don't care about the locust. Let's take care of our mech bay. The banshee just needs a little repair, a little love. The locust can go away. Our banshee will get fixed in a day. So there we go. As far as contracts, um, nothing else here that I want. I want to. Oh, but there's. Look at this. This is awesome. So we got this in the Lyraton system. And it's a destroy base for the Capellan Confederation. So we can go there next. I love it. That's what we're going to do. Thanks for watching, everybody. As always, if you dig the episode, give it a thumbs up. If you have a question or comment, drop it down below. If you like the channel, subscribe. And if you want to be a supporter financially of this channel, uh, maybe for something cheap, like the price of a cup of coffee every day, I mean it once a month, I have some $5 supporters. It's fantastic. So my Patreon is listed below down in the, in the description. And I appreciate all you guys very much. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.